I have dedicated my professional career to the study and control of arthropods. Hey guys, I am out at the Antioch Disc Golf Course in Juneau, Alaska. Um, we're on hole four. We decided that uh, my, uh, there's my boys. We're going to do uh, just the front nine today instead of playing all 18, just because of time and such. Um, but I wanted to kind of show just this, this particular one. This is actually one of my favorite holes here. Uh, you can see right through that, uh, you see a forest. Um, you can't even see it from here, but if you look way in the distance, that furthest stump where there's a, a little bit of light shining through, oh, I'd say, well, what's the distance on the hole? What's that? 158 feet in. There is the basket on this one, but you have to make it through this cage of trees to get there. So I'm going to uh, uh, let the kids go first here. Um, and I'm going to record it because this is this is a just fun. Here we go. There's my son Alan. He's getting ready. And oh, hit a tree. All right, Darwin, you want to go? All right, Darwin. Show us how it's done. Nice. Okay. All right, and my turn. You want to take that? Okay, Darwin, there's your disc. Let's do this. Basket is right, turn that way, it's point right there. Throw as far as you can that direction. Try not to go into the ravine. Oh, good job. You got the right direction. You're on the course. All right. We're, oh, you, all right. You find it? All right. So here we go. All right. Oh, excellent. That's the way to do it. All right. Here, Darwin, can you hold the camera? Just hold it. It's filming me. Okay, basket's uh, that way, it's like about oh, 40 feet, 35 feet. Okay. All right, thank you. All right, Darwin, where's your disc? All right. Alright, Darwin. What's that? That's okay. Wipe it off. Okay. Throw, little boy. Ooh. Alright. Oh, excellent job. That's a great throw, Alan. You're up for par, looks like. Where am I at? Oh, up here. Uh, one of the things about this course is it's uh, something of a you get a workout just getting to the to the basket, having to climb up and over logs, a lot of bushwhacking, especially if you lose your discs. So here are you. Well, not par 
on this one. Where's your disc, Darwin? Are you going to carry it up or are you going to throw? What's that? You're going to throw? Go get it. You can get, bring it down low if you want. Uh, he's a tool using primate. Want me to help you? Okay. We'll get it. Alright, here you go. Just drop from there then. Good. This is just a fun, fun course. Um, I uh, have made a, taken dozens and, well, hundreds actually, of photographs of all of the plants and animals we find out here. Um, it's, it's a really nice forest, second growth. Oh. Oh, this is a tough one. All right. You gonna throw it over? Excellent. Oh. All right. Well, that was hole four. So, anyway, if I find we get to another one, I'll maybe film again. So, bye. Okay, we're at hole eight. Uh, looking down here, you can, if you look way off in the distance there, so it's not, not that far, 218 feet is the basket. Alright, so I'll let the kids go first again. Alright, Darwin. What? That way. Yep, yeah, throw. Alright. Okay, Alan. All right, into the Devil's Club. Under the trail. All right. Well, you gonna throw? You might want to carry it back up to the trail here, Darwin. It's like you're risking going down to that hole. Yeah, for those of you who uh, live outside of the Pacific Northwest and aren't familiar with Devil's Club, uh, that's this plant right here. We've got a ton of it if you look up the hillside. Big maple leaf looking plant. Um, but I want to show you, do a close up here. If you look at these things, look at the stems. All of the stems, the leaves are covered in millions of little tiny sharp uh, spines that are slightly toxic so that when you get them embedded in your skin it tends to get infected um, and they burn and itch for a long time. Not a fun plant to lose your disc in the thicket of. And um, during the uh, winter when all the leaves are gone you're left with just that stick sticking out of the ground um, that can be uh, somewhat camouflaged and often grows in a well, perfect locations where if you're slipping down a hill and you need to grab something to hold on to, it's often one of these you grab. So, anyway, it's a fun plant. They're actually a uh, ginseng family. It's Opalopanax horridum is the species name. But it's the same family as ginseng, and it's actually used by local natives for the same purpose that ginseng is used for in the Orient. So, anyway, sorry, enough of the botany lesson. Let's get back to some disc.